Hey folks, how y'all been? It's been a while. I'm doing a video today on uh, starting a new project. I am doing 1,065 watts uh, on a pole, single pole, four inch pole. Uh, and I'm using Montana Solar for the racking system. And I'm using Kira Sierra 265 watt, uh, either like 30, 30 volts each but they're actually like 42 volts each open circuit voltage. All right, I'm gonna show you what we got here. Show you all my, my material list. Uh, that's my Montana solar that came today. That's my solar racking system, uh, or MT solar. Good stuff. You mount it right on the pole, and you take a chain fall and lift it right up in the air. You can put everything together on the ground, and pretty good setup. And right here are my four Kira Sierra 265 waters. Let's see if I can get in. Let's see if I can get in here. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> oh yeah. But I got them at Alt E for 87 cents a watt. So it was like $230 a solar panel. I usually go with the 135s or the 140s, but I just, I just couldn't pass on that deal. And the, and the freight was the same as for the uh, 150 watt, the new 150 watt Kira series. But I hadn't broken that yet, so that'll be later on in the video, this series. Solar power on the pole with Montana Solar and Kira Sierra Solar. That's a, that's a lot of freight. Thank goodness for old John Deere. I got a, uh, I'll show you that in a minute. I got a homemade uh, pallet, um, pallet lift that I made. You go back on that three point hitch. All right, let's go over here. I'll show you my poles, I'm gonna put these on. Take a little break. I am sweating big time. It's about 90 degrees out here, excuse me. Here's my Schedule 40, uh, 12 foot pipe. Schedule 44 inch. That's what we're going with right there. I'm gonna put four feet in the ground, 18 inch diameter with plenty of rebar. Um, got rebar, I'll be welding that to it. Then I'm gonna pop a hole, uh, blow a hole with a torch. Or concrete will go into the in the uh, will go into the actual pipe itself to help strengthen up a little bit. And here's my rebar. And down here are my my other little studs that are weld on the side of my my pipe. That's six of them there all together. Yep. Yep, there's our other one, six. All right. All right, let's get to show you the other stuff I've did. All right. Yeah, real quick, y'all, this is my pallet uh, lift that I made. I made that many years ago. Uh, it does a good job. Um, pallets or got any kind of material coming in, it just helps out a lot but it's got two positions, two pins up there. It helps you lift all your material, stuff you got. It's good for like, a, let's say 1,200 pounds. And I think the three point PTA, the three point hitch is good for 1,800. So she's pretty stout. And over here is a, a little pallet that I made to sit on there. So if I want to haul stuff or whatever, I can. All right, let's get on to the hole. Had a buddy of mine, uh, uh, IQ Construction, JJ, uh, the champs. He came to give me a hand on uh, Sunday morning. We dug a hole, dug it four feet deep, and then some. Uh, here we go. Here's where the new solar panel arrays going to go. 
She's like, I'm gonna shovel a lot of dirt. Going in there. And I got her dead plum. That means level. There she is, there's the hole. She's deep. But excavator did the trick. John Deere, I think it's a 35D mini excavator. And I'm tampering it. About every six inches of dirt, I'm tampering it. And it made me a tool. I know, it looks like D it's Dewalt colors. But I took a piece of channel. Excuse me. Took a piece of channel. Four inch. I see actually six inch channel. Then I welded it. Right here, all the way around. That makes it a good tampering tool. It's heavy. Uh, getting tight spots too. But it's uh, I made the pole long enough to where I can get down in that four foot hole. In other words, if I'm going down here, I got plenty. Plenty of room to tamper anything I want. But these are actually, uh, it looks like Dewalt colors, but this is actually John Deere yellow and John Deere black. So, but hey, it's good. Dewalt or John Deere. So, that's my favorite tools. But hey, I made that. All right, I'll get you my other little updates. But I got my, I got my setup. Got my Honda Rancher, my Honda Foreman, excuse me, my Honda Foreman, 500, 2014. Got my, all my tools, all that good stuff on there. My Honda Foreman, 4x4, 500. Gosh, I had a Rancher for years. But anyway, got my Dewalt radio so I can listen to some tunes while I'm uh, working away. All right, let's get you some more updates I did in the solar shop getting ready for the another thousand watt array 1065 excuse me um yeah we've been right been right busy been so hot i really hadn't today is like 90. so it's been cool compared to what's been in the 98 96. but this array is going to be taken down that's all going to be gone and where that combiner box is, right there, I'm going to have my, my liquid tight coming down out of there, down, along the fence, dug in the ground, then PVC, liquid tight to PVC, then you go all the way alongside that fence, and then to my hole that you can see through the corn. That's right there. That's where we're going we're gonna to put our new solar array and it's gonna be facing south south to east that'd be good winter time all year round be a good south southeast because see got a tree line right there so having facing the west won't do me a whole lot of good because by the time of the day in the winter time it'll be down below the trees so that's the reason why i'm facing south southeast all right let's go inside the shop did a lot of configuring I uh, put some new stuff in I uh, this is my new baby right here this is going to do put my new flex max 80 in there uh, the midnight kid I mean the midnight classic 150 is up for sale and I want to put that for sale on, on our Renewable Energy Group on uh, Facebook. Um, there is that right there. There's the Midnight Classic. There she is. Got the instructions, the everything with it, and even got the uh, little Midnight. I forget the name of that puppy. Better read your kilowatt hours and this and that, all that good stuff. But when I got the temperature sensor with it and the manual, 
But anyway, I added a hub 10. This is now a hub 10, because I had to upgrade because I got the Flex Max 80, and I just ran out of room. Um, so that's where we're at right now. And I just, I like the Flex Max, the Midnight Classic, I love it, good charge controller, but I want everything to read on my Mate 3, plus my Optics RE. And plus, I've never had an issue at all with uh, Beast Charge controllers. They're mid between Midnight Classic, uh, Outback, Morningstar, they're all good charge controllers. I mean, the Magnums are good charge controllers too. But hey, it works. Good stuff. All right, well, that's gonna wrap this video up. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And this is a uh, solar power on the pole and with Montana Solar and Kira Sierra. And thank you a lot. Thank you a lot, Alt E, for shipping all my stuff to me and not having any issues. Everything's good to go. All right, y'all. Y'all, hey, hey um, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. God bless and simplify.